for a match of massive significance. The stage is set, a packed house at the ready, awaiting two teams who like nothing better than to test themselves on a stage like this. The tricky part is trying to decide which side will outbox the other. There's only one place to enjoy the action, and it's right here with us on EA TV. Hello from one of the oldest venues in Spanish football, the Estadio de Mendi Torota, which dates back to 1924. My name is Derek Ray, and sitting alongside me, ready to provide all the analysis, is Stuart Robson. And every reason to believe we're in for an entertaining match here. It's Alaves, and they take on Universitati Craiova. Well, Derek, we can talk about coaches and their methods, but it's now down to the players. Which ones are going to stand out? Who will affect the game? And who will have the greater desire? It should be a cracking game, though. Good tackle. Alex Sola. Well, they stopped them in their tracks. Mateu. Banku. Determined defending. A bit sloppy in possession. Now options are plenty. Very quick thinking there. He's in here. An alert piece of defending. Oh, very effective play in possession. Well, they have it again. Couldn't keep it. Oh, he looks threatening chance here well what a glorious chance to grab the first goal of the contest well you have to say that's a wasted opportunity to get their noses in front here golden opportunity well he's gone back and shown him a yellow card Stuart well that was a poor challenge the referee wasn't going to forget that was he Not in the accuracy department, leaving a bit to be desired. Buridi. And a tidy challenge. And the sound of the referee's whistle, meaning that we're at the halfway stage here in Vatoria Gasteis. Well, just watching him closely throughout this match, it seems to me, Stuart, he's being constantly overrun. What's your take on his performance? Yeah, he's looked off the pace today. He just hasn't been himself, has he? And as a result, the team have looked short on creativity. It's been a disappointing performance. So they get the ball rolling in the second half. Even Steven here. So little to choose between the sides. And a strong tackle. Mateu.
This is looking threatening, but a good piece of defending to bring it to an end. And he has options available. Under some pressure, he's lost it. He's in behind. Oh, magical piece of goalkeeping. Well, he's just pulled off a great save there. Such good reactions. It really is. Can someone get on the end of this? Not the most confident clearance. Well, he passed the power test. Shame about the accuracy. There has been plenty of limbering up from substitutes. And now both sides will make personnel switches. Well, those stats aren't great reading, are they? Neither side is playing with any fluency so far. And as a result, we've seen a pretty dull game. It has to get better. Wanted to keep it, but couldn't. And offside. Well, they are committed to making the substitution here. Another successful intervention, winning the ball back. Twenty minutes to go in this one. Going well, but the danger averted for now. Really good build-up, but no end product. Can they do something positive on the counter-attack? It's looking promising. Really annoying for them. Couldn't take advantage. And that was simply miles off target. Well, I think he's right to go for power, but he's made the wrong connection, and it's really poor technique in the end. Five minutes remaining, and level pegging here. Well, advantage with them. Referee says play on. And the intention was to let the play flow, but no real advantage forthcoming, and now a free kick. And time for the change now. And given away... Under real pressure defensively, will they pay the price? And just when it looked as though the deadlock was going to be broken. Well, that's a big moment in the game. He has to do better there. Three minutes of stoppage time to be added on. On the attack, is there to be late drama? And a good tackle. And with that, the 90 minutes have come to an end. An even contest.